when we think of the causes of the seasons we realize that the amount of heat or energy that we get from the sun changes during the year if more energy is received than is lost our location gets warmer and we have summers if more energy is lost than is gained we get cooler and enjoy our winters so really what causes this amount of energy reaching a location to change throughout their year which causes seasons we asked this question around and got various answers first most common response was that earth goes around the sun in an ellipse so when we are closer to the sun we have summers and winters when we are far now even if we consider the path to be an ellipse the whole of earth should have same seasons instead when people are sweltering here in peak summer in india australians are enjoying cricket in winters it would also mean that we will have two summers and two winters which is not the case actually sun is at one of the two foci of the ellipse and not at the center the closest point of sun to earth is called perihelion and the farthest aphelion the closest to the farthest distance changes only by 3% because it's a very slight ellipse in fact the path of the earth around the sun is almost a circle 98.4% circle and so the slight elongation of earth's orbit doesn't cause drastic average temperature differences the second response we got was that the tilt of the earth leads to seasons because the part of the earth that is tilted towards the sun is closer than the part that is tilted away for this reasoning we have to compare earth's diameter which is 6400 kilometers to earth sun distance which is 150 million kilometers this earth sun distance is 23500 times larger than the earth's diameter so this cannot cause earth to come closer or go farther from sun in other words distance from sun or elliptical orbit does not cause seasons hope you enjoyed looking at the misconceptions of seasons and in our next video we will look at real reasons behind the seasons